it's, it's a pretty open world out there. And to think, out of all those stars and galaxies and whatnot, we're here together. It's, it's fate. I love you. For those of you who have tried dating in the 21st century, you'll, you'll probably agree it's not easy. Gone are the days of going to a bar and having a phone number written down on a napkin and then, you know, going back home and realizing that she must have written the number down wrong, you know, by mistake and, and then calling every single number with a one digit difference in order to tell her about her hilarious mishap and uh, telling her about how funny this is going to be for your four kids in the future, you know, Jack and Sarah and especially Timmy and you know, Panda too. Now we just have apps like Tinder where you swipe endlessly and never see a soul. The internet has completely ruined what's romanticized in the modern day man. I mean, do you remember the, the Ted Bundy craze from a couple years ago where everyone was falling in love with Ted Bundy of all people? Fortunately for me, I'm in a happy four year long relationship. I'm covered, but for a lot of you guys and gals out there, you're still in the trenches. You're, you're battling it out. I mean, it's dating in 2021, it's, it's a nightmare. So what if I told you that there's a way to bring back meeting people in bars and to be the Ted Bundy bad boy that women and men love so much? Well, my dear, beautiful viewer, I present to you First Class Trouble. My first intrigue happened purely by accident. I was at the bar when it hit me. Make my ass look when my concussed eyes looked up, they saw him. He was playing music at the bar and I I knew I had to do something to impress him. Oh shit! It worked. I was in. Oh hell yeah! No, I've been out of the flirting game for a long time, but I knew what I was there for and what I wanted. I decided to be assertive. People love assertiveness. Yeah. Baby making music right there, bro. Do you want to? Be my bunk bait. What? Apparently not. I realized I came off a little too strong with the mysterious bass player. So I decided to take it back a notch and pass him a love letter instead. Hey, you were in the band with me. Yeah. Hey. hey. So, uh, is that offer still? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. Uh, and just like that, I had him. Hit me like one of your French girls. Now, they say the number one killer of relationships is jealousy. And unfortunately for Hugh and I, that's exactly what happened. Everything was going great until I saw Tainted Tim hug Hugh. Okay. Okay. I, I can't explain that. I, I had this rage build up inside of me. I, someone was touching my my Hugh. I gave Hugh an ultimatum. It was me or, or Tim. And he chose me. Hello there. Hi. He's mine, you son of a... Yo! Never to be seen again. We, we, just, we saw nothing. Oh. Unfortunately, I made a, a fatal mistake. I, I forgot that we're playing the Ted Bundy dating simulator, and I, I forgot that there's not just Ted Bundy out there. It's not just me. I'm not the only killer. You know, there's the John Wayne Gacy's, and you're Jeffrey Dahmer's. I let my guard down. Oh! Um, unfortunately, death did us part, and I, I had to find another. Hey, uh, Josh. Yes. Josh, you look uh, really nice in that suit and those, uh, flippers and that hat. Thank you. I like yeah. the Oh, thank you. Do you like my, my shorts and my long socks? Sure. So, uh, Josh, what do you say, uh, we, uh, take it back to my place? Thank you. Oh man. All right. Hey, uh, Stretch, you look really good in that sweater. Wow. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm trying my options, man. So is that a hard no, Josh? What? Is that is that a hard no, or is there some wiggle room there? It's a hard no for now. Oh, for for now. Okay. All right. I'll take it. So, uh, Stretch, you look uh look good in that sweater. Oh, you're welcome. Would, uh, would, uh, you know, you wanna... No? No, is that, is that a no? That's a no. Oh, damn it. Alright. 
Let's all just hang out in the freezer. I'll, uh, I'll hang out in the freezer with you, Josh. Sure, get in there. Alright, come on in with me, buddy. Sure. Go on in there. Alright, I'm waiting for you. See you later. <laughs> Josh! Josh! <laughs> Josh! Do I die? No, I don't want to die. <laughs> die, little man. So, uh, so a vacuum, Josh. Uh, you uh, want to take this back to my place? Yeah. <laughs> every rejection hit me like a truck. For every no I received, I, I became more and more like Ted Bundy. I embraced the Ted Bundy experience. At first, it really wasn't much. Uh, I would hit someone in the head every now and then with a bottle or strangle someone for a little bit. Not, nothing too serious. But in time, that, that became nothing. I needed more. I started taking out on everyone who was rejecting me. If someone said no to me, I just wouldn't hold back. Oh no. By now, a lot of you are probably thinking, you know, Brain, did you find the, the guy or gal? Did you find the person to ride off into the sunset and, and win the game of, of life, win this dating simulator? There, there, there's something important to remember here. This is the Ted Bundy dating simulator. Ted Bundy didn't find a, a, a soulmate and ride off in the sunset and pull a Bonnie and Clyde. Ted Bundy was was executed in a Florida state prison in 1989 for his heinous crimes. And uh, much like Ted, I met a very similar fate. Can I trust you not to kill me? No, uh, don't worry, baby, I got you. All right. Oh, oh. Steve song, you I hate you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I know it's, it's a long video already, and, and I, I don't want to keep you any longer, but there's a couple things I want to say before we wrap up here. First of all, thank you so much for watching to this point. Um, this is a different video than I normally make. This is, this is me going out and on limb a little bit. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys sticking through and, and watching it, especially if you made it to this point. You're, you're great people. I, I love you a lot. Second, I want to say a, a huge thank you to, to Hugh. Uh, that's, that's Hugh Janus. Uh, he's a great guy. His real name's Shibby. Um, because of this video, we actually connected quite a bit. Uh, he's a good friend of mine now. Shippy and I actually made a pact together. Our pact is that if he begins streaming, that uh, I'll begin streaming. He's gonna start streaming over on, on Twitch. Uh, I'll have his his uh, Twitch linked below. With that, it becomes my final announcement. Over on twitch.tv forward slash brain gap, I'll begin my very first uh, stream Monday, August 16th at five o'clock PM Eastern time. Never done this before. Uh, don't know this will be a regular thing, but I'm excited to try it. Um, and if you guys like it, and, and if I like it, we'll, we'll make this a, a regular thing. Other than that, that's all I have for you. Uh, I really appreciate you guys so, so much. Uh, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.